Hi, and welcome back to PR Tech Talk. In my previous video, I showed how to install eGit support into STM32 Cube IDE. And in this video, I thought that we should take it a step further and show how to then import projects in from your local um, Git repository into your workspace and start making edits on it. And then also change, uh, save the changes and uh, commit the changes to GitHub. Uh, and to do that, to commit some changes to GitHub, you need to have a token. Uh, you can't use password and uh, username, which is uh, a bit unclear why. I think that, that they stopped that support for some time ago, but with a token it works. And I will show how you acquire that token. And I will also show how to start a new project from QBMX and then upload it or commit it to GitHub, uh, to that repository. And if you didn't find uh, the first video on, on, and if you don't have eGit support installed, I will put a link on that video in my description below and it looks like this. Hope that sounds interesting and you are eager to tag along. So this is where we left off the last time, where we had installed the local Git repository, which is a clone from the remote GitHub repository that we can see here. But we can also see that we don't have any projects in the Project Explorer. So how do we get the projects from the local Git uh, repository into the workspace so we can work on it? So we go under File, and we go on to import. Now we can see that we have a new option here called git. So we get projects from git and just next. And here we have existing local repository. So we click on that one. And it finds that there is one. And if I, for instance, would like to import this DTS sensor, I can just click on that one and hit next. And we can just hit finish. So now we can see that we have the project in our workspace and we can make changes to it and make commits to it as well. So if we go under core, include and or in source file, main source. And uh, we now have the main C file. And if we just make some small changes to this one, just to prove that uh, we can make some changes and uh, upload the changes into GitHub. So we just make a small change. Like so, and we can save it. We don't need to compile it since it was not, nothing to compile. So now we have made a change to the local project, but how to uh, push that up to the GitHub? We can do it under Window and Perspective, and we can open Perspective Other. We can go under Git and open. So now we get a new window up here called git. So if we click on that one, we see that now we have a new report or a new um, perspective here. So we can go under kit git staging and we can see that there are unstaged changes and we can then select them all make some uh, message to it. And we can try to commit and push. Then this is the problem. Because if you use the username and the password that you created for yourself, it won't work. So we need to do something else. We need to get a token. And this is the next step that I will show how to get this token to upload code to your GitHub account. So to upload to Git, you need to create a PAT or personal access token. And you do that by logging into GitHub to your account, which I have here. And uh, you click on your profile 
and you go under settings and you go all the way down here to developer settings and you get down here to personal access tokens and where you get uh, the uh, tokens classic and you generate a new token a new classic token there and here you uh, give it the name and you give it an expiration date uh, and you give it the scope of the what it's allowed to do what uh, you can do a lot of things here with it uh, but normally you only need to have the repo and then we don't go down here and create the token uh, now you can see the token is created and you don't have to copy this one because it will be deleted so you don't have any use for it but you can create your own uh, so you copy it here and, and you save it on, on a, on a a specific place where you can find it and no one else uh, but in this case you use that in as user you use your um, uh, user that you had in github and you use the token as the password So it, now it says pushed to STM32 origin. So we can just close that one. And if we then go back to the GitHub page, uh, we can see that uh, if we make a refresh, yeah. So we can see that now there is a small change in main.c. And if we open up the project here and we go under core, source, main.c, Oh, there, I thought I lost it, <laughs> but there is the small change there, which I did. So that is how you upload and the culprit there is just uh, that you can't use your username and the password. You use your username and then you need the PAT, the uh, access token that we just created. Great, so now we have uploaded projects and the next step is to create the project from scratch and add it to the local repository. So now we're down here and we closed the project and I will just make a small blinky which I have done several times before so uh, I will just do it again once more. Great, so now we have a created a new project and I didn't talk through that because I made a other videos on that one just to make proof of that. Now we have a new project, a Git project, which I call it. And we don't have it here in our local repository and we don't have it in the external repository either. But how do we do then if we want like to push it to the, uh, to the, uh, the GitHub? Well, we do like this. We go to high, high, right click on it. We go down on the team and share project and we then find our local git repository and we hit finish we can then change or make the view to the git where we can see all the unstaged changes this is now the project so we can select everything so we have the, and we can now also make a commit message. And commit and push. And as I said before, we need to use the token, um, the pet token 
when we're going to upload something to it. Pushed to Threads Origin. So we can close it. And if we now can take a look on the, the, the working tree here, we see that now we have the Git project in our local repository. And if we change the perspective as well, we can see that we have it here. So there are 101 ways to skin a cat, as they say. So there are many ways to view this data. Uh, we could also uh, take a look on how it looks in uh, GitHub. So now I have the uh, GitHub for my page here. And now we can see that we have the Git project there, which we just created from the very beginning. So there is many ways to use and this is one way I use and uh, if you have a smarter way to use it, give it some comments in the chat below. And if you learned something or if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so, it's highly appreciated. Until I see you in the next video, stay safe, bye.